Alright, so this is going to be the most random video we've seen today on YouTube, but basically I've got a mechanical keyboard here and on one of my desk setups, the way that basically things are wired, I'll just show you quickly. So the mechanical keyboard goes down now, and then comes down into this box <coughs> as I crawl underneath my desk and then into like this big mess basically and then so I've got like Ethernet cables and a whole bunch of blah and so basically in order for me to get the mechanical keyboard to work I can even get it out now I need to unplug this not, not, not to work but the lights basically it's got an issue with the lights so now the keyboard's off and then when I plug it back in now basically it's got to do it's got to do with like the keyboard always being powered on kind of thing and then now put that back on and the keyboard lights up but now the keyboard's fully functioning again so what happens is that when I remove my laptop because it's all just connected the whole desk setup is just connected via that one USB-C cable the hard drive, TV, Ethernet, everything and so when I remove my laptop and I go somewhere else or go take it to my other desk or whatever then what happens is the keyboard is always powered on I think from this USB hub where basically it has my that white that light there is the power cable for my laptop to charge my laptop so the laptop's always charging but it charges through here which is crazy really because literally the whole the, the, the power for the laptop display Ethernet all USBs all run through this one cable into my laptop here so What's happening is that the keyboard's rem being remained power on even though my laptop's not connected and so the keyboard must have like some short or some sort of um, shut off like I don't know timeout thing where it's, it goes inactive and then it doesn't reactivate when I plug back in the laptop so I have to constantly keep coming down here and bending. So I came up with the most random solution ever which is to basically cut this and stick this. So, don't ask me why I'm doing it. I mean, I basically just can't be bothered to constantly keep bending down and going down there to unplug it. And so, I figured it should be simple. I've never done something like this before. But I'm basically just going to cut this, connect it all up, and then hopefully I should just have a simple on-off so I can reset the keyboard as is. I don't know why I'm doing this. I get that, you know, I'm completely ruining the value of the keyboard afterwards, but I don't care. You know what I mean? I just need to, I want to learn stuff. And so this is a good opportunity for me to learn. So yeah, let's get into it. Let's cut the wire. So I believe this is everything I should need. I've got my wire strippers. I've got the rocker switch and then just obviously unscrew those with this screwdriver. So let's, I'm going to unscrew these now and then let's have a look inside. All right, so I've opened it up, took those screws out, opened it up and I basically need to wire it like this. So just going to cut this now. Pro tip whenever you're cutting is always cut far away from the wire so that you have more wire to play with if you need to resolder. And there we go. We didn't really cut properly but it is cut. There's a bit of plastic on there. There you go. And there we have it guys. I have successfully fully damaged my um, cable. And so now I just need to spread the wire, there we go, and cover it. Hmm, interesting. I didn't actually expect it to look like this inside. Ah, don't know what to do, what's all with all of this now? Alright, gonna have to Google it now. Alright, so I'm actually shocked by the complexity of inside a keyboard cable. I was not expecting it to be this deep. Uh, I just thought it would just be two cables to be honest with you. So I'm basically going to split them up white, uh, red, white, red, white, black, green, black, green, and then put them in like that. And I don't know if this silver cable is meant to do something. I assume it is, but I'm hoping that it's just shielding. But I'm just going to shove it in to one side and yeah, hope for the best, man. I'm actually thinking now that maybe like one of them is going to be for the LEDs and that's it's not going to power. There's not going to be any LEDs on the keyboard, which is bah. Anyways, if I break it, I might send it to one of you guys and I'll buy a new one. Cool. 
So I've just realized now that this isn't going to work because obviously once I connect these two wires together, then um, the signal from the red cable and the white cable, once I tie it into there, the signals are now messed up. It's not, that's not, there's no way that's going to work. So I'm going to have to basically figure out which one's power and which one's ground and just put the power and ground in and then connect the other two together. Uh, probably going to have to short, shorten the power and ground ones, ground cables and make sure the other two are longer and then solder them two back together basically. Um, and then yeah, put power one side, ground the other side, and do it like that. Because these, this is this can only be this can only take two connections. I mean, re realistically, I would have. Well, I don't know actually. Well, uh, yeah, I actually don't even. Understand. Yeah, this can only take two connections. So ideally, I would have needed a four or even five connection one. So, anyways, let let me figure out which which is power, which is ground, etc. Okay, so thankfully we've got like a a copper braided shield cable. So hopefully my keyboard will be fine without shielding for a little bit. Um, and then we've got red, which is voltage supply, black ground. So hopefully I'll just do red and black. And then hopefully sold them back together, green and white again. So I'm a bit stuck here now. I've got all these shielding cables. I've got green and white cables that I can't connect. Red and black cables are connected. Yeah, don't know what I'm doing now. I'm going to have to redo this. I'm going to have to take off the red and black cables and um, shorten them and basically cut more out. I don't know what I'm doing with all the shielding. I might just cut it off. It's all a bit of a mess. So I've soldered it a bit and it's not <laughs> It's not great at all. I mean, don't, look at that. There's even a bloody blob right there. If I can remove that. Yeah, that's gone. Yeah, so... This isn't going to work, is it? Let's be honest. I'm screwed. Alright, so I've connected it to a USB power supply, and then here it is, ready, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Look at that, it's turned on. That's crazy. So I've connected up the screws, and I'm hoping that there's no short circuit. So it's currently not turning on. Next one, this thing's completely broken. I don't even know how that bloody happened. Um, yeah, so this isn't going to work. For now, I'm going to have a broken keyboard for the next few days, which is annoying. And I'm going to try and order, I don't know, some sort of four-way version of this. I don't know. I should, way over my head. I don't do enough research before I do this stuff. Would you look at that? It's on. Uh, basically, an hour and a half since I last updated you. And I just kind of me messed around with the magnetic metal strip inside. Fitted it about a bit. Cut off all the uh, wires. I can't see where I put it now. But it's fine. And it just basically redid the whole thing. It took me like an hour, incredibly long. But look at this, it's fully lit up and then I can turn it off. On, and it's just connected to my uh, computer via the TV stand, uh, monitor stand thing. And then look up here. It's just crazy. I mean, I don't, I'm not sure yet now, like my Windows key isn't working, but I don't know if that's because uh, I need to press like this FN and unlock thing, I don't know. Okay, wait, that's locked the keyboard. So that's working. Um, and if I press FN and lock, I can't really do it with hand. One second. So the Windows key right now isn't working. Space is working. Um, don't know what else I can try. Volume. I don't know if volume's working. I'm not sure. Anyways, I'll test out a few things let you know if stuff's not working. So it's literally working perfectly now. I mean, my Windows key actually isn't working. Uh, one second, let me try and unlock it. Yeah, there you go. Just had to press FN and then that, and then that works perfectly. Control or Control Tab works perfectly. So literally, even all of the uh, volume. It's nice, man. So I'm very happy with that. I mean, I don't know how it's gonna stand the test of time. Especially um, considering, you know, my solder job is not the best. So yeah, no idea how it's going to survive. But for now, 
it's exactly what I wanted and it only took me two and a bit hours so yeah <laughs> let's have a look at it with the lights off there you can go there you go and as you can see the the light it's not at all like dim let's see That's the full brightness, and then even the brightness controls are working all good, which is nice. Yeah, so I'm very, very happy with that. Got my little plug, so whenever I plug back in my laptop, then I can just reset the power from there nice and easily. No idea how it's going to sound up again. Uh, if it breaks, I'll let you know in the description how long it lasted. But for my first job, very happy with that. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.